So here we'll be seeing more problem with respect to series parallel circuit. And here we'll be understanding the concepts of neglecting the resistance. So I am Mohan B.S. working as assistant professor in department of Tripoli, SJBIT. So here is a given problem where you have to find R equivalent across AB and AZ for the given circuit. So here you can take any value for R1, R2, R3 and R4. So the method remains the same. So once you, whatever may be the values, apply the same method, substitute and then you can find. So I'll be solving first for AB. So here point A I've taken as it is and I've stopped at R1 and you can see from between point A and R1, I repeat from between point A to R1, you can see we have another point or a node. So this node I'll bring it down and you can analyze that from this node we have another wire which meets R2 and R3. I repeat from this node which I have marked it meets two other resistance R2 and R3 respectively. Thus we will connect one for R2 and from the same junction or node we connect one for R3. Okay, I hope you have understood. So you can see this blue line which is connected to R2 and then we have yellow orange line which is connected to R3. So we have represented or redrawn the circuit. Next, let us analyze at point C. So at point C, you can see we have, I want you to analyze what all connections are there. So at point C, so we have one for R4 and one going to R3 and B and one going to R2 and one at R1. So these are so many elements which are actually connected at point C. So at point C, one is going for R1, is going for R4, another is going for R2, and another one is going for R3 as well as B. So let's connect all them. Once, let us start with R4. You can see it's connected with blue color wire. And then we have R2 with green color. And then we have the last one which is left out orange color it is R3 as well as we have black one which is point B so now we have rewritten the circuit so it's, it's not required that every time we rewrite the circuit if it's if it's not able to analyze by visual inspection and then you can rewrite the circuit by keeping the junctions and nodes in the mind and then analyze it further so I think now it is evident that all three R1 R2 R3 are parallel across A and B then what about R4? We have to neglect R4. Why? Because we are connecting only across A and B. So if I connect a supply across A and B, the current would flow depending upon the value of R1, R2, R3 and then it will come back through point B. If my terminal A is being positive, the current would go to point A and then come back by point B. There is no flow of current in R4, so it is not electrically connected to the circuit. Now, let us solve for AZ. So, until here the steps are same. Now, where is point Z? Yes, I hope you have identified correctly. It is after R4. So, you can see point Z when I consider. So, the points A and B are not valid now. That means I have, I will be connecting my supply between A and Z. So, when I connect the points between A and Z, the current would go from A and come out from Z. Thus, this time it will flow, the current would flow through R4 and thus it is connected electrically to the circuit and because of this reason alone, we have to consider what is R equivalent with respect to R4 also. But how? So until last step across A and B, R1, R2, R3 are parallel. Are they still the same? Yes, they are still parallel even between A and Z also. And after that, we have to add R4. So these three branches are together parallel, we get one value and then the entire value is in series with R4. So whatever is the value respectively substitute for R1, R2, R3 and R4 and then you can find your answers. So that is a problem to find R equivalent across A and B as well as A and Z for the circuit shown. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe the channel.
to analyze your knowledge further.